Alright guys, <clears throat> this is a review of the Tacticon Armament Battle Pack Light Sling Pack. <clears throat> it's currently on their website. Um, and this is an awesome bag. been following Tacticon. They showed up on my social media. Um, great gear, great prices. Check them out. Um, this particular bag uh, caught my attention because of its... It's a compact size, uh, but you can still carry a lot. Um, and you don't have to carry a full backpack. A lot of times, um, I was caught between, when I was looking for an EDC bag, caught between something very small, um, a print about this big, we carry very little, or a backpack, which is way too big. Uh, this is just right. So this is a bag as it comes right from the company, from Tacticon, they're based in California. Um, you got some patches, some good uh, zipper pulls here. I think that's like uh, 550 uh, per cord. Uh, may have said that wrong. Um, just all types of cords out there, but I believe that this is 550. Um, we got an exterior pocket, as you can see right here. So we get it in there. Well, and I have a pretty large size hand, so this fits my hand in here. Uh, you also have this front pocket. You know, it's got some um, some webbing in here, a loop, another another pocket, um, and this spandex or elastic type bands that um, retention bands that will hold different size items. Um, Velcro for your different patches. These come with the pack, the Tacticon pack um, patch, and the American flag patch comes with it as well. Uh, you got some Molly webbing up here. Uh, Little top pack up here. Another little pouch, some more webbing. Good size there. Again, fit quite a bit of things in there. Have another bag that I'm gonna show you with all the stuff that I carry when I go out. Um, well, when I go out with, with the kids and when I go to the range as well. So this this bag does double duty for me. Uh, it's an everyday pack uh, when I'm going out and it's also a range bag. So I'll, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, here's really cool nice wide open pocket there so you can see it's pretty deep um velcro has a little give too so if you need to put something that's pretty big in there uh strap will adjust so same thing here gives a little bit of a pocket right in here which is really cool we're going front to back so um you have a little coin pocket in there um, just got some cords in this one. Uh, I was just trying different stuff out. And got some loops on the outside, top carry handle, some more molly webbing on each side. Another handle here, some loops. Um, and then this back pocket opens up all the way up. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, little, little holster here. Again, this bag is brand new. I haven't set this one up yet. Um, but here, yeah, another little pouch for stuff. Some more bands here doubled up for different items. A zip pocket in here. And, these, and this zipper opens up all the way, which I like. So it goes all the way around. Um, and this thing is built pretty tough. I could put a lot in here and it holds up to it. I haven't, I've had it for months and it looks just like this and you'll see in a bit. But I like these bands here, some more loops. Um, vented, padded backing. This part goes against you and this is awesome. Um, and I have this right here. Have some, I think this is the uh, loop, so it's hook and loop velcro. So you got the, the soft side of it, whatever it is, it's the soft side, it's right here. Um, snap shut, you got an easy pull open loop. We'll see why that's important in a second. Um, and then this, if you want to attack, attach this to another bag or to your belt, keep it steady if you're going to take this bag for, for hiking. This is a good day hiking bag if you can go out for a couple hours. You can fit some water bottles, some snacks, some extra gear, some first aid. 
you can attach it to the outside for easy access. Uh, what I like about this too is the sling is centered and you can attach it on either side. So it's got loops here. So right now it's attached on this side, but you can put it right here as well. Um, another cool little feature um, on this bag is whichever side you put it on, you have this guy, this buckle. So I'll click it and it'll just go across your chest like this to keep it in place so you don't have a bag that's flailing everywhere. Um, and you, know, you, you could undo this and switch it to the other side as well. So it's fairly easy. Uh, I like the the customization that you can do on it. You could adjust the straps on various sides uh, for wherever you want to position this buckle. Uh, it's great for that. Also comes with these loops to hold all your loose ends. Um, and a nice big fat chunky buckle right here. Pretty bulky, pretty strong. You could hear that snap. It's not going anywhere. And it's also adjustable. So it's pretty great bag. Um, now you can see everything and how I personalize the one I use every day. So this is my EDC bag. Um, this is in my EDC configuration right now. It has a lot of stuff in it. Just got back and just gonna show you everything that, that it has. So um, I added this patch uh, because this is my first aid kit right here. This is my trauma kit. Uh, in this bag, in this pocket, this is an iPod, uh, AirPod phone, um, AirPod case. So you can see it's pretty big. It's a, it's a generous size pocket, so I like that about this. It's, it's, a sm it's much smaller than a backpack, but you can still carry a lot. Um, this is what I carry. I have kids, so. Sanitizer, Kleenex, got a multi-tool. Various forms of uh, chapstick that I carry in here, quick, easy things well, that I need to get to. Um, fits that it fits much more. Sometimes I'll, I'll put a phone in here or my wallet if I want to. If I'm wearing gym shorts and I don't want to carry things in my pockets, um, have that in here. So that's what I like about this one. It's pretty generous. Um, and for reference, uh, here is iPhone, an old one, but yep, fits very comfortably in there. Uh, in this pocket, um, I changed out the cord on this one red uh, because again, this is my trauma kit. So in here, and it's pretty compact, uh, but I can still fit a lot in here. So in here I have a uh, vented chest seal, trauma shears, uh, back here are um, some gloves, tourniquet, and uh, Israeli bandage um, all packed up into there. It's a snug fit, but it's good because nothing wiggles around in there, it just stays in there. And, you know, it's just, I put this on there so I could spot it, see it, you know, rip it open. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that, but it's here if it's needed, uh, right at the top. Even if I'm not the one doing it, I could easily direct someone, hey, first aid kit with the patch, red pole. Uh, on the inside, I could carry quite a bit. So I work in tech, uh, so when I go somewhere, um, when I go anywhere, <laughs> they could call me up easily and then I have to get back to work. So for that, I have uh, carry a phone. Um, full, this is a full size um, iPad, um, well, Apple iPad tablet. So that's a full size. And again, I have kids, so got some minis in here. So I carry two minis. Um, and the ouch pouch or band-aids and other things that kids get themselves into. Uh, got some band-aids in there for that. Carry this. I could still carry snacks, which I normally do. Uh, so you could fit some, you know, bags of trail mix or whatever that the kids need. Um, and this pouch. Back here, uh, power bank. Again, I, I could feel I could fit more things in here. Um, you could get minis in here. You can get a full size iPad in, in this pocket, but you definitely could get a, a mini fairly easily. There, just like that. 
So, in this pouch right here, got some cords for the devices for the power pack. Um, so I'll keep those in there. Hefty, uh, hefty use right here. So I like having that right there. Um, some of you guys are probably wondering, like, okay, well, let's see the, the goods. What can you carry in there? We'll get to that. But here on this pouch, uh, flashlight, tactical pen, and addressing. Uh, this, this is a compressed gauze. It didn't fit in the front, but I have it right here, um, right there. I figure I have most of the stuff right here. Just is a just something extra to have. So, uh, but yeah, I could carry more things in here. But this is in my EDs, in my you know going out. Out and about, uh, just running errands and things. This is the bag that I that I carry. Um, seems like a lot, but yeah, it, it holds up pretty good. I've had this for four or five months now, and the seams are still intact. It's still it's still looking good. Like it's. Then again, I'm I kind of obsess about taking care of my things. I don't throw my things around, but um, yeah. Holds up pretty good for as much as I put in here before. Uh, I've done it with more tablets, more phones. We've gone out and all the, the family just gives me all their stuff. We just put it in here and go out and do what we need to do uh, and run the errands. So this thing is, is holding up. Um, you saw everything that's in there. You know, tablets could be pretty heavy. So I have three of them in here. Um, or still adds weight to it is this right here. Um, I can have a full size. Um, Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0, uh, 17 round mag, and I just, it's right here, it's convenient, it's against my back, so it's easy to conceal, easy to reach, just sling the bag out in front of you, and it, you, you got it, it's right there. Um, just pull the retention cord and, and you're good to go, uh, but yeah, full size. Um, yeah, fits in here easy. It just, it just, this thing just tape. It's awesome. Oh, we got caught on the cord. Right there, just goes right in. And the gun is safe. Mag's empty, chamber's empty. Um, and I carry an extra mask, so just tucks right in there. And this is it. This is the uh, the everyday, every man, um, gray man carry, or not even gray man. It's pretty obvious what you could be doing here, especially in the state that I'm in. Um, everyone carries, so kind of see people's different EDC bags around and you can see different setups you have an idea that they're concealed carrying but um yeah this is a great way to just conceal carry go somewhere comfortably it's small enough where you could just tuck it under a table somewhere put it on your side put it on your lap keep it near you uh it's not intrusive uh it's a nice compact size and it carries a lot um i've seen other bags offered that are similar to this um they don't seem as well built as this one. Um, even in the pictures that they show, you see a lot of seams uh, already being pulled and exposed, uh, loose threads. Uh, the, the pockets are smaller, so you can't open them up as, as much as these. Um, you know, sometimes the zipper will stop here, so you really can't get full access. Uh, and you don't have somewhere where you could put your concealed carry. Oh, and that's back here. You got your soft side of the uh, the Velcro right there, so that that's where I have that holster right there. And it does a good job. You just gotta make sure you adjust it, test it out right. Um, just make sure that it's it's in there snug. You don't want it slipping out because, again, I I do that because again I use a lot for this. So sometimes I gotta pull the bag around to the front from the back and just pull open the zipper, grab something to go and. I don't want anything falling out, so I make sure that's snug. So this is it. This is in the just everyday dad configuration, as I call it, because uh, we're just going out running errands. Uh, well, the bag definitely look into it. Uh, 
and again the name of this one it's made by uh, Tacticon Armament and this is the Battle Pack Light Sling Backpack.